Hello. Um, happy new year, guys. Uh, this is just like a, I was gonna so. be, I was going to do a video on my makeup that, you know, I just did earlier. Um, I'm off from work. So I did a video this, well, this morning. I was going to do a video on my makeup. And, um, I just, it's been a long day. And it's the new year, so it really shouldn't. It should be like a, you know, a really happy day or whatever the fact. But it's just been a long day. So, this video is going to be my New Year's resolutions and all that other good stuff. You know, the whole basics, I guess you can say. So, to start off, let me get my paper. I want to share all of them with you guys because I want to share all of them with you guys because some of them are really personal. And I just feel like, you know, personal is to be stay personal. So, I want to share all of them. But I'll share some of them and then I'll elaborate on them. And then I have a lot of things coming up and I'm just going to um, elaborate on those as well. So, okay, I'm back. So, my first one. My first New Year's resolution or goals, they're just goals, honestly, um, is to do for, I'm tripping. Okay. My first one is to not curse. If you know me personally, then you know that I curse a lot and it's not the cutest thing. It's not the ladylike thing. It's just not. And it's like, at this point. It's, it's almost like sometimes I can't control it. Like, I don't even know that I'd be doing it. Like, it just be like, oh, snap, I did just say that. So, I personally feel like I just need to cut that out because it's not always... Now, okay, I'm not a... um. I don't do it, like, in the wrong time, you know? Like, I don't... I'm not going to be sitting around your grandma, my grandma, your grandma, your boss, my boss, and be cursing and whatnot. But... You know, like, if I'm around friends, and it's just, you never know who's connected to who. You never know what's going to take you there. So, I just feel like I would be better off if I ceased all cursing. Now, today being the first day of the year, obviously it was a little hard. I think I cursed three times, maybe four, and it was just like, oh, snap. So, I want to find, I'm going to probably get a rubber band or something, you know, to put around my wrist. Oh, just if I do, you know, pop myself or something. Because I really, really want to want to stop doing that because it's just not something that I feel like I need to do going into 2018. No grown woman is sitting around here cursing for a friend because, like, who does that? Come on now. And I want to get to the point to, no matter how mad I am, no matter how frustrated I am, I just don't do it. Like, I, I can use my words. Otherwise, I can, you know, resolve the situations without having to get out of character. So, that is my first one. It is to not curse. So, my second one, which is, like, um, it's really, really deep, and I'll elaborate on it later. Um, I'm going to start it fast. Now, I will... Um, I will be fasting starting. Oh, excuse me. I got a wig on y'all. It kind of itch a little bit. Um, I will be fasting starting January 5th, which is this Friday. And I will be on a no food fast for 21 days. It may last longer than how I feel. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, my blood fast going to be two, three weeks. And then I'll be like, oh, I just want to extend it some. Just because I just, if you've already done a fast before, then you know the feeling, how it feels. It's, it's a great feeling to fast and be able to feel like, the things that you are asking for are getting done. So, I'm going to fast. Within my fast, I will not. I'm going to upload this video tonight, hopefully. I will not be on any social media platform. Now, I'll be on a... I'll upload... Volun uh, not voluntarily. Uh, what's the word? <laughs> what's the other word for it? Like... periodically okay periodically i will be um uploading during my fast just to you know updates i won't be doing any makeup though <laughs> that's gonna be a lot of stronghold and if you don't need to my fasting fasting is all about a sacrifice and it's all it's mainly about sacrifice sacrificing things that you do every day or things that you feel like are very important to you to get 
God's sight and then get the things out of God that you would like for him to do for you. So makeup is really, really important to me. Like I really, my passion for makeup goes beyond anything I can imagine. And on thing is two things I'm more passionate about. Going to law school and something else that I can't reveal. And then it's makeup. And it's just, this is how I am. Um, now, I may not be the best at makeup if you are, you feel like that. But, hey, that's how you feel. So, yeah. Um, I won't be doing any makeup. It's a whole bunch of other stuff. But, oh, well. But, yeah. Um, I want to bring in the new year with a great fast. Because most churches do it if you're in the church. And it's a great way to start your year. It's uh, very productive very very productive but it caused a lot of strong will so i will officially start it wednesday i'm gonna ease my way into it and then i'm gonna go into the real fast on friday so yeah that's my second one my third why did i open my eyes like that <laughs> my third resolution for the new year is or a goal that i have they're not i don't call them resolutions this year normally resolutions but at this point, I'm 18. They're, they're just goals. Things that I'm... Thing, they're short-term goals. 90% of things that's on my list will be completed by March. At the latest April. So, my third one is to be financially stable enough to buy a car. Come March 3rd. Um, at the latest, April 19th, which is my birthday. Um, but I want to have a car by March 3rd and let's pray that i get this new job so i have a second job to um help me to help my income so i can pay for school and you know save up my money all that other good stuff but let's if, if everything goes as planned i will have my car by march 3rd and if i don't uh, in between march 3rd and april 19th that's when i want to have my car because it's not having a car is not what's up depending on somebody else to Wait on them. Nine times you have to pay them, do something for them just because they took you around somewhere. Um, then I live not I live like twenty five minutes from school, and that's a twenty two dollar uh, between twenty and twenty three dollars for Uber or Lyft. Don't I want to pay all that? It only take like ten dollars to get to my job, but still, that's not that's money I can be on elsewhere. And the bus stop is a twenty minute walk from my house. And that is something that I just know that I no longer want to do. So, I have to get a car. And I have to have one like yesterday. It's so tiring having to depend on somebody else, having to be at somebody else's jurisdiction. About where you can go, when you can go. And it's just not where I want to be in 2018. I can't keep doing this. It's like, and then it's like, I be feeling like a bum sometimes. Because it's like, people my age have cars. But then at the same time... People my age don't pay for their tuition, and I do, and it's it, it's it's a lot. I pay all my bills, low key. I live at home with my parents, um. So only thing I don't pay for is to stay here with them. Now I may pay my mom's credit card bills every now and then, but I think I try to say I only pay the ones that I use, which is the Victoria's Secret card, and I pay I may pay for Target. It's something that she asked me to pay for. Um, if they ask me to do for anything, I don't care about doing it, especially money. I don't even care about the money issue. Um, but I pay for my tuition, I pay for my phone bill, excuse me, and I buy my own stuff. So it's like, yeah, it's a lot. And, you know, I just have to do better with myself. So, yeah, the third one is to be financially stable enough to buy a car. I'm going to share two more. There's five of them. So, one more, my fourth one, I guess you can say, that I have um, for 2018 is to be financially stable. Because I'm the kind of person, I pay all my bills, and then I be broke. But I paid all my bills, so it's okay. But at the same time, it's like, it's not fun being broke. So, I want to be, so I've started, because, you know, I work at Starbucks, so um, we get tips. So, I started saving my tips. I save. I save. I, I've started to save. Month of December is when I started saving for real. For like, okay, I started saving in October or something like that. But then I had to use them, my save stuff. So now I'm actually saving. Like I'm not even gonna touch it for a while. So yeah. Um, 
we had that and it's like i don't want to be 30 i don't want to be by the time i graduate college i'll be 21 by the time i graduate law school i'll be 23 24 i'm sorry 24 i'm not trying to be 26 not knowing how to save not knowing how to budget effectively so that's one thing I want to plan. I want, not plan. I want to practice a little bit more in 2018. Um, I just know that I could be doing better with my money. And yeah, I spend a lot of money on makeup. But have you seen my face? Oh, okay then. Okay then. Okay. Cause a lot of people. Oh, you spend too much money on makeup. You see that trophy wife? Oh, okay then. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but I just, I am going to. Okay, so let me think. Excuse me, I didn't. I was trying to point the middle finger. I just like kind of scratched my face. Um, I will not be buying makeup again until late February, early March, because I'm trying to go on a spring break trip. So I'll buy makeup right around that time. Also, I have not. I will not. Um, this is going along with my financial thing. I haven't bought anything for myself in a while. Oh, I, I'm fine. I just bought a vision a thing because I'm doing vision boards with my best friend tomorrow. But I haven't bought anything. And so I won't be spending my money on self. Because I spend a lot of money on like shoes. Well, because I have been buying one pair of shoes per check. And that's, and I buy, <laughs> I go to the finish line because I don't know about the rest of y'all, but the finish line always got the best prices and they always have some kind of sale going on. So, you know, finish line is always the move. Mm -hmm. So I may spend about $80 on shoes at the most, um, except for Pumas. <laughs> Pumas are my weakness, y'all, I swear. <laughs> so okay, sorry, that's a story. Okay. Um, but yeah. I'm not gonna buy any. Like I like to shop online. Like this week, I bought three wigs. This was a. This was the second. The other. The third wig hasn't come in yet. But this is one of the wigs I bought. And in total, on three wigs, I spent twenty eight dollars. Now they're all synthetic and like whatever. But <laughs> girl. And if you've seen my blonde wig, then you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh. So yeah, I'm just trying to do more. I'm. I want to be good enough so yeah that's my fourth one being financially stable to do what i want and i don't want to just stop saving after i get my car i want to continue to save because there's all you never know what's gonna happen you never know what life's gonna take you so i'm gonna you know i'm gonna work that out okay for my last one i'm gonna show with you guys i just feel really pretty and like the girls you know okay so the last one i want to share this is so serious because it's just, it's happened one too many times. I want to never, ever, ever allow another soul to contradict how I feel about myself, how I feel about other people, or how I act, like how I, how I perform. Because you, I'm not saying you other than you, but I'm saying you can get so tied up in a person that you will lose yourself. And I never want to lose myself again. I never want to lose my high. Um, and when I say my high, I mean my love for myself, my my um, self confidence at, at my self confidence. I never want to lose my academic excellence based on another soul. Okay. My first semester at U of H, um, the guy that I was with. We kept getting into it right around time for finals, and I failed one of my finals because I could not focus, and I never want to do that again. Cause I'm not even with the guy, so it's like, was it worth it? Um, I don't want to give nobody. I don't want to give you the energy to dictate how I feel about me, how I feel about my goals, how I feel about my life in general. Just it, it, it's not something I want to do anymore. Girl, boy, man, woman, family or not, I do not care. You will not dictate how I feel about myself, how I produce my energy, um, my attitude. It won't happen. 
that's another reason why I'm fasting because I want to be more um, self-confident. I, I want to get more um, stable within myself. You know, like the self-happiness, that whole aspect, all that good stuff. I'm getting there. And um, I don't want to... Um, I'm not wasting no energy. Why need to waste energy on you for? I like me meeting new people. They want to know. Like, okay, this is one of the big things. I've met quite a few people within this last month, and guys, main lot, main, mainly guys. And one thing that they like to know is, well, what is your middle name? And I'd be like, I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, why won't you tell me? You know, it's just your middle name ain't that big of a deal. It must be ugly or something. No, it's not ugly. Now, if you know me personally, you know that my middle name is a mouthful. But that's not the point. The point is, why would I waste the energy? Why would I waste the energy to type it or tell you when you're not going to be in my life in a week, a month, three months, six months, a year from now? Why would I? Now, I'm not saying I'm not going to, I'm going to, um... I, plan, I don't plan on going to know that shit no time soon. Because I have a whole lot of self to work on and work with. And I have, man, these next, until April, maybe even May. I am. I plan to be so busy, so driven that I won't even have time to hear you tell me your name. Okay? I don't, I, I... I got so much stuff that I'm planning and trying to do. I have to stay. I have no other. There's no other option for me but to stay focused. So, you know, I'm a. Uh, I'm finna get it done. <laughs> That's what y'all is. But yeah, I'm not wasting no energy, and I'm not gonna allow anybody else to dictate the way I feel about something. That's not happening. And I also will not allow someone to use me in any way, shape, or form friends or not relationship or not family or not you will not use me okay you're not gonna be friends with me when you feel like you're not gonna use me to comfort you because when i need comfort when i feel a certain kind of way then where are you nowhere to be found and it's happened one too many times with one too many people so therefore no one no one person nobody in 2018 will use me for anything okay if i sense that you about to use me you finna get dropped yesterday. It's not, it's, it, 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 it's too simple. It's too many people in this world. It's too much happiness to grasp onto for yourself. Be wasting on somebody and let somebody use you up. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> and everybody's like, oh, not in 2017. Oh, not in 2018. Oh, not in 2019. Yeah. I won't lie. I may have been all talk these last couple years, but then again, these past couple years, <laughs> I'm 18 now. I'm I'm I've seen I'm seeing a lot more things a little bit clearer. I'm I'm seeing where I want to be, how I need to get there, and how I'm what I'm gonna do to get there. And I'm not just seeing it and looking at it. I'm taking it and putting it in my in my path, so that I will hit it. And I'm these not no the things I wanna do, these ain't no uh six years from now. This is a um within this month, <laughs> within the next three months, within the next six months, it will get done. I have something that I know I know I'm gonna do for all of seven, eighteen. And you nobody ain't nobody finna stop me from doing it. Because I know I know where I wanna be. Okay? You ever know exactly what you wanna do? where you want to be and you see somebody else doing it and you're like man i can't wait till that's me i can't wait to do that I, I, it's that looks so be they look so beautiful doing it it's like wow i can't wait till i can stand up there next to you and say you did it now i done it too that's how i am right now i can't keep looking at the things that i want in life and watching them walk past i can't keep Saying, oh, man, I wish I did this. I wish I did that. <laughs> no. No, no more. So, you know. I just got a couple things I want to see through. And I'm going to see through. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. 
I'm done now. Um, I, one reason I did this video is because, like, my makeup, I felt like my makeup was too good for me to just take it off without doing something so it can be seen. It's probably vain or something, but, I mean, I look too good. Okay. Too good. Like, dang. Who's that? And I kind of think I want to start doing brighter colors this year. I'm, I'm more like a mellow. I hit you with some brown and then you like an orange. No, not literally. But like I do something like real mellow and then bright. And I don't want to do that anymore. I want to do a little bit more bright. I, I can't wait to see where I am this time by January 31st next year. Because I feel like. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to just be on it. Okay. Because looking at my pictures, I'm going to put pictures on here from, like, last year, this time. They'd be like, I've grown, like, a lot. And so, yeah. I hope everybody had a very happy new year and was safe and sound. You know, I just got done making this money. So, hopefully that check is good. <laughs> um, But, yeah. So, I'm going to go take a bath and read my Bible and um, be wholesome all 2018. Yeah. <laughs> Good night.